Okay, we have a table of values that are about the first derivative and second derivative. We're also told we have critical values at 0, or sorry, 10, 20, and 30. And we know that because our first derivative equals 0 at each one of those x values. All right, so we have two different tests we can use to figure out whether we'll get maximums or minimums at those values. So let's first talk about this row, the first derivative. First derivative tells us whether a function is increasing or decreasing. So at 5, because our first derivative is negative, we know our function is decreasing at that place. Now when it's equal to 0, that means we get a horizontal tangent line to the graph. Increasing, because we have a positive 5, horizontal tangent line. Decreasing, horizontal tangent line, and increasing. All right, so let's think about what does that tell us about our graph? Well, when our graph changes from decreasing to increasing, we get a minimum at that value. When a graph changes from increasing to decreasing, we get a maximum. And finally, when you go from decreasing to increasing again, we get a minimum value over here. All right, next up, let's think about that second derivative. Second derivative tells us about concavity of a graph. Now, we don't really care about um, the 5, 15, uh, 25, 35, we more so care about right at these critical numbers. All right, what's the concavity of the graph right there? All right, so looking at the 6 down here for our second derivative, because it's positive, that tells us that our graph is concave up. All right, when a, when a graph is concave up at a critical number, we get a minimum, so it supports that. If our Second derivative is going to be negative. That tells us our graph is concave down. All right, when your graph is concave down at a critical number or critical value, you get a maximum. But what happens if it's zero? Well, if it's zero, it doesn't tell you anything about the graph, to be honest. Um, it, it's inconclusive, basically. And so right here, doesn't tell us anything about concavity. But based on the first derivative, um, it makes sense that we do have a minimum at that critical value. All right, hope this helps out as you understanding the first and second derivative tests. Good luck.